have that new case testing the stand your ground law. The confrontation started as an argument over a handicapped parking space and escalated to a deadly shooting. Gio Benitez is here with that story. Good morning, Gio. Yeah, Robin, good morning. It was all caught on camera. The argument, the push to the ground, and the shooting that ended it all. This morning, the man's girlfriend says the shooter got away with murder. You're looking at surveillance video of a fight over a parking space that ended with an unarmed 28-year-old father of three killed. Florida police not charging the gunman, calling it an example of the state's contentious so-called stand-your-ground law. I just want justice. I, I need something to be done because this, this is not right. Brittany Jacobs was sitting in her boyfriend's idling car when she says 47 year old Michael Dredgka approached to tell her that she illegally parked in a handicapped spot. Her boyfriend, 28 year old Marquise McLaughlin, had gone into the store to buy snacks for the kids. You can see McLaughlin walk out of the store. He sees and hears the argument, runs over, and pushes Dredgka to the ground. He's, you know, pushing this man away from his girl, you know, telling him to get away. But that's when the irreversible happens. Dredgka takes out a gun and shoots McLaughlin. McLaughlin, holding his chest, runs back into the store. Jacobs and the children watching from the car. He collapsed in front of my son, and within 30 minutes, he was gone. McLaughlin was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This morning, there are reports that Dredgka, the shooter, has been known to have angry encounters over parking. Out here, he said he'll shoot me. The store owner says he's even had to call the cops on him for confronting other customers over parking. For a parking lot? For a stupid reason? Just to argue? Just to find someone to argue with? But police say this shooting was self-defense. The stand your ground law gives Floridians the right to protect themselves if they feel threatened. It was used as the defense argument for former neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman, who killed unarmed 17 year old Trayvon Martin back in 2012. The shooting and Zimmerman's acquittal sparking national outrage. Back in Clearwater overnight, a girlfriend asking for justice. He was a good man and all he was trying to do was just protect his family. Meanwhile, the local sheriff there says that even though they believe the shooting falls under that stand your ground law, he's not saying he agrees with it. Police will now send the case over to the state attorney's office for a final decision, Robin. All right, Gio. Joining us now is our senior legal correspondent and analyst, Sonny Hostin, a former federal prosecutor. Is good being morning. good morning, Sonny. I mean, we saw this video and we've been talking about it. Many people have. Is being shoved to the ground justification for this law? And you can see that Marquise was walking away, was going back to his car. He wasn't continuing yeah. to confront him. That's the problem with the stand your ground laws. I mean, it allows a person to use deadly force if he or she reasonably believes that they are in danger of, of any harm or, or death. And it also sort of eliminates this duty to retreat. It used to be when you were in public, mm -hmm. you had to flee, you had to retreat from a situation. Now, even if the attacker, alleged attacker, is retreating, you can still use deadly force against that person. I know if they continue to show the video, I know we're stopping it here as he's getting shot, but he was clearly turning and walking back to yes. his car. I was say, he comes out of the store. Mm -hmm. He sees this confrontation. We heard in the piece his girlfriend said he was doing nothing more than protecting his family yeah. and, and, and shoving him to the ground. Why isn't that justification? Yeah, why, why wasn't he standing his ground? Right. And that's the tricky thing about stand your ground. Perhaps he was feeling uh, threatened. Perhaps he was feeling the need to defend himself and to defend his spouse, to defend his mm -hmm. child. But then it shifts when he pushes the other person. And now that person can stand their ground. It's sort of just the wild, wild west. Prosecutors don't like the stand your yeah, ground bad. laws. When it was passed in 2005, prosecutors opposed it. Law enforcement officials uh, opposed it. But here we are years later, and two dozen states have passed these, these laws. Two dozen states. Yeah, or a little over, over two dozen. dozen. Okay. We heard in Geo's piece, uh, the store owner mm -hmm. and others saying that the shooter as known to be having altercations like this as far as not not as shooting but altercations mm -hmm. with people parking so it, he, will that play in if this if he is charged play into it because it's almost like he's looking for a fight you would think but you know stand your ground laws were meant to allow this kind of behavior they were meant to make sure that average residents could protect themselves without fear of not only criminal prosecution but civil prosecution as well so the question is will the state's attorney uh, 
charge this person. If past is prologue, we've seen what happened in the Trayvon Martin case. Yeah. Prosecutors lose these cases. In Florida, even police officers are using stand your ground. So do I think that, that, he, that he's going to be charged? I, I just, I really yeah. don't think so. And you can understand why the sheriff probably said, putting off on the yeah. state attorney. Well, under the law, believe it or not, um, if even if the sheriff believes that something was wrong, right. but self-defense applies, stand your ground laws apply, they cannot arrest. They are not allowed to arrest someone. Say that Isn't that so, something? So they still he could not have the right to arrest him, even yeah. that? Even, even if he, thought. He, he realizes something is morally wrong. Mm -hmm. If this, this sheriff believes that stand your ground laws apply, he is not allowed under the law to make an arrest, which is why you see the shift to uh, the state's attorney. That does make sense. All right. Yeah. Or no sense at all, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.